folks, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. After the first um, video that I made, I had a bit of a review of the design of my layout. And uh, when I went to uh, just do a, a dry run of putting in the incline, I just realized that uh, at that point down there um, is where the trains would be going under. Uh, the branch line and as you can see uh, there's not enough room so I have to rethink what I'm actually doing here um, and uh, I think probably what I'll do is uh, change the branch line to the outer side so that it's on the outside there and that the main lines will run where the current incline is shown and run all the way ar around here Somewhere here, I'm going to have a bridge uh, where the branch line will cross over a road. It'll then jump, just come back in and uh, follow that um, decline down and around and over the bridge, which I will have across here, and then back over to this side of the, the layout. So, changing the layout as well um, by Putting this as the branch line here, running on the outside or close to the, the upright there. Um, I've got to be able to get trains from there over to the sidings. So that line there will have to cross. So down, uh, we'll have to get across over to there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reconfigure this whole area here. I'm also going to have to reconfigure it here as well. And what I'm going to do is this this line here and here will become the main lines and they'll run through and around. And this line here will have to run across down onto that line. So I'll have a, a turn out there with a crossover and a crossover and then up there and we'll be able to get into the sidings and onto the branch the the main lines these two here will go out onto the main line again um, which will end up on a turnout over here with a crossing um, but i'll go through it on the uh any rail this is the, the next um the next uh sequence i'll show you is me redesigning this layout uh, to suit um, the inclines that i want enjoy so here you can see is the old layout um, and over on the left hand side here uh, that's where the incline started um, and that was the crossover there where you had the double the main lines coming into the um, sidings and it just wasn't high enough so I'm going to have to redesign all of that there. So. I'll just speed up the next um, sequence of me redesigning. You can see how I've done it. Okay, enjoy. So I'm just dismantling the uh, railway here and um, yeah, just trying out bits and pieces uh, what's best, you know, what tracks will suit that best. And using mainly on the branch line I'll be using um, Pico code 100 um, which is the concrete sleepers and on the main line 1 and 2 I'm going to use the code 75 uh, uh, SL 100F I think it is so um, yeah I've got a lot of that on my table here beside me um, as you can see here now, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a bit of a curve in to the um, turnout, not the turnouts, but to the um, sidings. I have to play around with it a little bit here. Um, trying to get a cross over there and line them up and uh, as straight as possible. And then I use the uh, Hornby R609 to give me an idea of the curve that I need, need, which I think is third radius, correct me if I'm wrong. And then the inner radius is a R7, a 607. 
So now I move down to the main line section. Uh, so that's for the branch line to get in and out of the sidings. Now we just have to mimic that on the other side as well. So now we're moving over to the right hand side and I want to bring it over the bridge there. So I'm using the 609s there to get a curve. And then I'll bend the flexies around to suit. The same up here, uh, using the 609s or 609s and uh, getting the flexi around um, and then bringing it around and closing the loop basically. Uh, I use a double straight there across the bridge. Um, I've changed that into a bridge section and you can see I'm fiddling around with it a bit to get the best curves. Just having a look in 3D there just to see what it looks like. I've just shifted back. This is a, a second station. For the main line and uh, I just shift it up a little bit it's it's pretty close to the branch line but I'm gonna have an embankment there um, and in front of the station along pages 49 all the way along there is going to be there's going to be a road and and various houses and you know some sort of scenic um, features wasn't too happy with that because uh, I needed to add in a, a straight there on page 199 um, so there's not too you, you don't go straight into another curve coming out of the the sidings not a good idea so from what I understand it's it's one sure way of of getting derailments so that completes the, um, the left hand side where the branch line can come in and out Sorry, come in and then go out the other side. If you see any glaring mistakes there, guys, please do let me know. Or any suggestions that uh, you might have for improving it. I'm open to suggestions. So I'm just trying to complete the bottom section here with the main line and the branch line linking up and uh, the exit out of the sidings for the branch line. So here you can see I'm using the R607s and, and uh, the R609s to try and get an idea of the curves that I need um, to create. And then this is the other link into the sidings uh, for the main line. So folks, uh, this is um, the finished layout in 3D view. So along here is it's either this side or this side. I'm not sure which yet, but um, I'm going to have a container uh, section. And over here, I'll have a brewery um, using the Irish rail kegs and uh, keg wagons. And then, um, yeah, I think it looks okay, doesn't it? Let me have your comments. I'd love to hear from you. So here's where the, the, the gradient starts and this is the branch line and it will run over here. We'll have a, a bridge there and underneath that a road will run behind there and then come out this other side and around. I'm going to use the follow car system as well. Uh, but first things first, I've got to get the trains working. Uh, so um, yeah, that's the plan anyway. Um, it looks okay, I think, and it'll get a nice long. I, I can probably, you know, have eight or nine carriages on a on a wagon here, and it won't look uh, too bad at all, will it? So yeah, main line one, main line two, and the branch line, and over here is the main line station. Uh, sorry, main line station is here. And then just a, a spur to uh, park up some engines there if needs be. Okay, that's it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, we hope to see you in the next video, which uh, I'll be laying some track.